The following program was paid for by Latino Cleveland. This program was made possible by Global Cleveland, supporting the growth of Northeast Ohio's Hispanic community. Este programa es hecho gracias a Global Cleveland, respaldando el crecimiento de la comunidad hispana en el noreste de Ohio. Así. <laughs> Welcome to Just Soy Latino Cleveland. I'm Maya Rosario, and I'm happy you could join us today. I am so excited to introduce to you one of my dear friends, Geraldo, who is going to guest host with us for the next couple weeks. How are you? I'm doing great. And yourself? Great. I'm good. Good. No, thanks for inviting me. I'm an avid <laughs> fan of the show. Mm -hmm. Really excited to be here. <laughs> And I'm really impressed with this studio. Nice, nice. Well, um, do you want to let people know what you do? Sure. I've sure. been a Cleveland firefighter for 14 years and pretty much uh, really active in the Hispanic community. Right. I, I kind of see you everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> well, June, I'm really happy you can join us. We have a fun, packed show for today. Today we have Javi from Frank's Chop Shop. He's going to be talking to us about the latest barbershop trends. And our boy Kenny is going to be taking us to the youth center in the heart of the community. But first in studio, we have one of your dear friends, um, the president of the Hispanic Police Association. How are you? Yes, thank you. Very good. Thank Great. you for having me. Great. So Cesar excited. Herrera. Cesar Herrera. Yes, thank you. <laughs> How are you? Can you tell us about the Hispanic Police Association? Sure, sure, definitely. First of all, once again, I'd like to thank you for having me here. Yeah. I also would like to clarify that my views and opinions are not those of the Cleveland uh, Police Department, okay. but strictly those of the Hispanic Police Officer Association, okay? okay uh, the Hispanic Police Officer Association is uh, put together by a police officer and uh, law enforcement and um, uh, safety forces mm -hmm. come together to bridge that gap between the police department and the community. Nice. We're a nonprofit organization. Uh -huh. We're out there in the community uh, uh, promoting our culture as Latinos. Yes, I understand you. you work with the youth as well? Yes, we do. We participate <laughs> in a lot of schools. We give a lot of uh, talks to the kids. We participate in a career day in anywhere that we call up on, on our community. Right. Yeah. Now you have a, an event tonight to support those efforts, correct? Most definitely, yeah. Tonight we mm -hmm. uh, have an our biggest event of the year, which is okay. a fundraiser for our um, scholarship program. And we're hoping a lot of people will come and support uh, the organization and the scholarship. Okay. Great. And how do we contact uh, HPOA? Uh, definitely, uh, we have uh, flyers, and I believe mm -hmm. that you guys are going to show on your on your show uh, the address of St. John's uh, Party Center on State Road. Mm -hmm. It'll start tonight at, at six o'clock, and uh, we do have a couple of uh, limited tickets available. If anyone would like to come and join us, we really would appreciate it. Okay, mm -hmm. is this a black tie event, or what kind of event is it? It is not so much a black tie, but it is formal. Okay, a so, formal event. Okay, yes. and again, can you let people know how to get those tickets? Definitely, you can come to the door at St. John's okay. Party Center on State Road. Okay. And I think, I believe you guys are gonna have on your show maybe the, the flyer with the address or information. Okay, so. great. Well, I wanna thank you for coming and I appreciate what you do for the community and the police, Hispanic police officers. Now, when we return, Kenny is going to be taking us to the youth center where we, they just had a facelift. <laughs> so many of us, know and love. So stay tuned for more Yo Soy Latino Cleveland. Saludito tu hermano Kenny Santiago Morero with Yo Soy Latino Cleveland here in the corner of Scranton and Clark at a very incredible location, a place that's captured my attention, captured my heart, and I'd love to introduce the gentleman right here to my left. How you doing? My name is uh, Jonathan Rivera. I'm the youth center coordinator here at Hispanic Umadop on the corner of Scranton and Clark. Awesome. I've heard a lot about this organization. Mm -hmm. Can you tell me a little bit about the activities and what happens here? Okay, at the youth center here, we basically cater to the kids from the Luis Munoz Mar Marin School. We also um, basically cater to the Lincoln West crowd as well. It's a predominantly Latino neighborhood, so we offer tutoring. We have uh, basketball and different activities things do, that we do here for the kids. Making a difference for our youth yes. here in the city of Cleveland mm -hmm. because we know how important, how valuable that is. Yeah, I um I grew up in this neighborhood. I'm an alumni of Lincoln West. I I know this building like the back of my hand. Um, I've been coming here since I was a little kid. So since I had an opportunity to give back, we're actually doing a renovation of the place right now. Mm -hmm. It's getting painted. We have new lights. We're getting the place cleaned up. Sherman Williams has donated a lot wow. of their um, time and services. Oh, man. So Thank that's what's going to be going on for the next few days. And we'll be trying to have this place open in the next couple of weeks for the kids. What kind of difference do you see this place having, if you can sum it up? Um, well, 
it when you look at the before and after pictures it didn't look so inviting when it came to mm -hmm. a place that was a youth center so the colors that are going to be added just you know the the renovation we're getting new tapes in, in lines for the basketball courts we're getting new hoops and oh, new wow. nets so it just like when the kids come in there and they see the place they'll appreciate it more than what it used to look like so that's awesome well we have to make a difference with our young people men we need you to be advocates and there's a gentleman here to my right now you have something incredible to share with us as well that has to do with this whole yes, yes let's hear about it so I'm Daniel Wozniak um, me and some John Carroll grad students came up with an organization called keep playing Cleveland what we do is we collect new and used uh, sports equipment from the community and then kind of recycle it back to organizations that don't have, mu have as much um, being a youth center program manager in the past that was one of the biggest things is we never had uh, the funding for the sports programs that can be, uh, leave such an impact on some of the youth and so that's what we try to do as a organization is just try and gather as much as we can captivating their attention with sports mentoring how can they find you is there a social media website as well sure we're on Facebook at uh, Facebook keep playing Cleveland and then we're also keep playing Cleveland if you wanted to check us out Awesome. You hear how it is, guys. So is there anything you'd like to say just for an ending for parents, uh, uncles, aunts that want to maybe get some additional information? Um, you can look, always look at HispanicUmadop.org or you can come stop by and see us when we're open, 3115 Scranton Road. I would like more people in this community to be a part of this place because it's for them and it's for their kids. Amen to that, man. Thank you so much All right. for what you've done. Thank you. We'll be right back at you with Yo Soy Latino Cleveland. The Hispanic Umadop Youth Center is now open and looking fresh. It is located near the corner of Scranton and Clark at 3115 Scranton Road. So check it out. And speaking of fresh, we will return. When we return, we'll be learning about the hottest new barbershop trends. You won't want to miss it, so stay tuned. Welcome back to Yo Soy Latino Cleveland. Now Gerardo, AKA June, and I are here with Javier. How are you? Good, how are you? Now, you're from Frank Chop Shop, who, and you're going to talk to us about the latest barbershop trends, right? That's correct. Okay, cool. Now, what sets your shop apart different from other shops in the city? Uh, Frank's Chop Shop, uh, actually, we provide a high-end grooming experience for the modern, modern gentleman of leisure. Okay, and where does it originate? Because I've heard of the name before. <laughs> yeah, it originated from New York City, and now it nice. actually expanded to Cleveland and city of Los Angeles also. Nice. How long have you guys been in the area? Uh, actually about just about 10 months. Okay now yeah. I went to a showcase a barber showcase last Sunday that's, can you tell us what that's, that's all correct. about I've never seen anything like it. Yeah well actually the city of Cleveland never had something like this so we decided to put up an event and mm -hmm. um, unite just uh, all the barber shops around the area and mm -hmm. come together and show off our skills and mm -hmm. uh, techniques and stuff, you know, so that way we could put ourselves out there and right. promote and market ourselves. Right. Now, I, uh, I saw some things I've never seen before. June, you should have caught it. <laughs> oh, really? Am I? Yeah. I, I see that you have some, uh, some different uh, styles going on here and Correct. some models to represent those styles. Um, can you explain to us what we have here? Yes, um, right here in our first model, we have a, a old school pompadour combined with a newer school style. Um, we did a nice ball fade. We, How long would that take to do? Uh, I'd say about 30 minutes. 30 minutes? 30 yeah. Wow, all of minutes. that in 30 minutes? Yeah. yeah. Oh, wow. Can you turn around? I want to see that fade. Because I actually heard that fades are not as easy as they look. <laughs> oh, that's nice. Cool. Now, you brought somebody, you brought a female. So yes. you guys, it's not just for males, correct? No, no, we do females and guys here. Okay. Thank you, Santos. But and this is Felicia? Felicia, second model. Okay. Did, now, what did you do here that's different from her normal With hairstyle? her, I did a side shave. Nice. And I incorporated some leopard print uh, graphics. OK. It was actually painted on there. It wasn't like cut into the haircut. That way, we used that more for like shows or photo shoots and stuff. Yeah, I'd imagine this would take a lot longer than right. Than yeah, part. that's definitely more detail. Looks so really it takes detailed. A little more. Right. So, have, now, if anyone wants to get a hold of you, how can they get a hold of you? You can get a hold of me at the barber shop is two one six eight five four three seven seven five two one six five one five one 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 zero. And also, you can follow me on Instagram at have the barber J A V T H E barber. 
Wonderful. Now, thank you so much for joining us. And, you know, I just love what you do at the shop. I wish I could shave half of my head. <laughs> I totally would. Now, for more information about today's episode, check, check us, us out. out online at latinocleveland.com. Now, next week, tune in because we're going to talk about tax season. <laughs> tax season. And we're also going to uh, talk and speak to uh, Ramon Claudio. He's at Top of the Line Barbershop and uh, Moncho's Bar and Grill. We'll be in the studio cooking up some Colombian favorites. Now, don't forget that we're here every Saturday on Channel 3, so make sure you check us out for more Yo Soy Latino Cleveland. Yeah.